afternoon guys and welcome to Arbalas on a glorious September afternoon. I've come over to take a little walk around video view of a cracking new listing, Villa Bloom. You saw the lovely impressive kind of entrance gateway there. This sweeps up a wonderful flagstone drive. There's a car parking area to the right, I'll show you that from closer up. And it's on a slightly elevated or in slightly elevated garden so the views from there are absolutely spectacular we'll have a look in a minute you can see there's a little pedestrian gate so flagstone path connecting to the flagstone drive sweeping all the way up to the front of the villa loving these kind of mature gardens i mean they're low maintenance and they're all very well established but it's just lovely to have some color the wonderful palms there at the front This is a three bedroom, two bathroom villa. You're in easy walk of Arbalea Centre, 1.6, 1.8 kilometres. Little privacy gate you see over there to the left. Very good condition inside and out. Little entrance porch there going over the front door. Let's have a little pan around from up here for you. So to the right hand side of the property you have this ample parking bay, there's a lovely wood store there and you can see a good sized detached storage building casita, carpool could be added onto this for peanuts next to nothing if required but it's fine as it is. So I've just come through another privacy wall via a lockable gate into this fully terraced corridor that runs along the back of the villa and ends in this gorgeous shaded porch seating area. This comes off of the lounge so you can hear the air conditioning whirring away there a bit. This is totally in the shade, absolute bliss and overlooks the pool which you can see is pristine. Look at the views at the back there. It's slightly elevated position, you know, looking down, I suppose, on most other properties, is it just gives it these spectacular views. So the doorway in front there goes straight into the lounge, as you'll see when we have a look at the interior. Another set of double doors there. So eight by four tiled pool. You've got the decorative balustrada wall running around this ample sunbathing terrace. And then you've got what I'm calling the secret part of the garden. Now this is fantastic, you know, it just gives you some space and everything here, but it's really a blank canvas. So you can see step access down to here, and you can see the boundary wall running around, but you've got probably around 300 meters, I'd say, down there. There are some plants and shrubs already, but a big barbecue area, summer kitchen, and you know, your world's your oyster on that one. Look absolutely amazing, we'll just leave as is. It's an extendable sun awning placed above that double door there um, to give much needed shade at certain times of year. So let's go and take a look around the interior. I bet you can't wait to see. So I've come in by the front door here, right in front of me, which is located centrally at the front of the villa. And it opens into this glorious room at the front here. Now, you know, this is a, a character villa, I'd say, um, but it's got all the mod cons. You know, you've got fly screens and everything else I'll point out as we go around, but I just love coming into this room. And taking a look at it now from the other side. So much nicer than just a little small entrance porch or a standard entrance hallway. I like this feature wall here that just makes it feel really open plan. So this straight into the lounge and you can already see in front you've got air conditioning in here, twin ceiling fans, spotlighting. So character villa, it's got a lovely little modern twist, you know, to it. Wall mounted TV here, corner mounted wood burner and this is a real top spec one here so that will belt out loads and loads of heat when needed 
And this sits centrally to the property, I suppose, now. Just having a pan around from this end. That door there goes out to the wonderful covered porch seating area by the side of the pool. Doorway immediately in front is to the main bedroom. And you'll see there's an arched access there off to the left and that takes you into the newly refurbished kitchen. Taking a look from the other end of the sitting room for you now, the lounge. So open plan, arched access into this wonderful kitchen. I mean, it's got the bang on the money, up to date, white lacquer units, beautiful black granite work surfaces. You can see their microwave and oven. Integral dishwasher down here. I'm very thoughtful. You've even got a ceiling fan out here, so. And then just off of here, you've got the master bedroom on this side of the property. Air conditioning, ceiling fan again, double doors, you saw those going out poolside. Access there into the ensuite shower room. And that has a wonderful double shower. You can see there just in front of me. WC. And then marble top vanity unit here. Hello guys, that's me in the mirror. I managed to catch myself. So wandering on back into the living room. You can see now arched access at the opposite side of that, and that's where you've got the two guest bedrooms. So really nice design because the master's kind of totally detached from guest bedrooms. So you've got family coming over, just adds that little bit more to privacy and things, I suppose. So central shared bathroom. This is newly refurbished, absolutely gorgeous. Love this. It's almost like a wet room, I suppose. I don't know about you, but I love houses where they've got a lovely character feel on the outside and then you come in and they've got kind of modern bathrooms and modern kitchens and stuff. I really like that. So it's a double, but they've obviously gone for twin beds in here. Ceiling fan. And a whole bank of floor to ceiling fitted wardrobes. I'm trying to creep around, but you can only be clodded on the tiles, I expect. So, and then opposite side of the bathroom, another double guest bedroom. This is the main one. Air conditioning and a ceiling fan in this one. And again, another bank of fitted wardrobes. And I don't know if you've noticed as I'm, I'm kind of wandering about, but you've also got very modern and cost-effective panel heaters in all the key rooms this bedroom lounge master now you've got the great big wood burner you saw anyway which will belt out a lot of heat but these are absolutely fantastic timer controlled very energy efficient there's one there on the left of the lounge so you know a character villa with a twist all the mod cons easy walk from Arbalea center surrounded by beautiful countryside and wonderful views and there's villa bloom for you Full details will go live shortly. Viewings are possible now. Contact us as usual, kalidahomes at hotmail.com, plus three four nine five zero four three zero seven six three.